Good morning, my dear students. Hope you are doing good, studying. Uh, today I have come up with a video for the revision of the poem The Cold Within, written by James Patrick Kinney. Uh, the poem appears to be very easy in the first reading, but uh, remember you have to learn the textual words from the poem. So in this quick revision video, I will be dealing with 35 questions and I hope it will enable you for a good revision for your exams. So here I go. Before that, if you have still not subscribed to my channel, please do it. Question number one. Discuss the background of the poem. Now this poem is based in America. America is a land of immigration. There was a time when the white men brought the black people to America as slaves. And there was always a difference of opinion between the white Americans and the black Americans. We have discussed the same theme even in the lesson Chief Settle. Right? So the poet James Kinney, he lived towards Cincinnati, Ohio, and the poem is based at that place, Cincinnati, C-I-N-C-I-N-N-A-T-I, -N 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 Cincinnati, Ohio. So that is the background of the poem. He himself was a black American. And he suffered a lot. There was a time that uh, they were uh, so strict against the white people were so strict against the black uh, Americans that the black Americans were not even allowed to come out on the streets during the dark. There were so many restrictions. And uh, the poet also suffered during that time. Question number two. What is the theme of the poem? Well, the poem highlights the weaknesses like prejudice, caste system, hatred, selfishness, bigotry. What is bigotry? To be strict for your religion. Then bias, narrow-mindedness, unwillingness to accept other religion and so on. Question number three. What is the human sin in this poem? Well, in this poem, the refusal of the six humans to share their log of wood with others is regarded as a human sin. Why? Because humans have got the free gift of loving, caring and sharing with each other. When they refuse to do so, it is the human sin. Question number four. Discuss the title of the poem. Well, the title of the poem is The Cold Within. When we think of cold within, we simultaneously think about cold out. Cold outside means the extreme cold temperature, snowfall and so on. And cold within means the absence of warmth, love, heat inside. That is the human emotions. Because cold is a symbol of death. And from there the title has been chosen by the poet, the cold within. It is because of this cold within that the six humans died. Next, question number five. What form of poem is it? This, the cold within is a didactic poem or we can say it is a parable. What does it mean? It means it is a poem with a simple story giving us a moral. Question number six. What does fire stand for in this poem? So fire in this poem is the metaphor for life. Fire stands for something that sustains life. So over here also fire was a symbol of life. Had the fire been left burning, everybody would have been alive. Next, question number seven. Discuss the rhyme scheme of the poem. Well, the poem consists of eight stanzas with four lines each. 
and the rhyme scheme of every stanza is A, B, C, B. Next, we begin with the poem. Question number eight. What happened to the six human beings? Remember, we have to write the answers, the textual words. So pick up the words from the poem. So what happened to the six human beings? The six human beings were trapped in bleak and bitter cold by happenstance. So if you write the correct answer like this, you will get full three on three in the board because you have picked up the words from the poem. Six humans trapped bleak and bitter cold happenstance. Question number nine. Describe the season and the surroundings. Well, it is the winter season and it is snow all around. It is the night time and the fire is burning by chance over there. But the fire does not have much firewood. So in order to stay alive, the six humans were supposed to share their logs of wood. It was by chance that all the six humans were carrying a log of wood with them. Next question. What are the positive things that you see in this condition from the very first stanza? Well, there are three positive things we see over here. Number one, there is a fire burning, which is a symbol of life. Number two, every person is carrying a stick or a piece of wood, which can be used to keep the fire burning. And number three, the very fact that there are six humans at that place is a positive aspect because six people together can do wonders if they want. Question number 11. In such a situation, what do normally people do and what is strange in the behavior of these six of them? Well, in such a situation, normally all people would like to help each other, think together and uh, um, discuss and bring about a way to come out of this difficult situation but in this case those people refuse to talk to each other to share to discuss the things with each other question number 12 why is the fire called dying fire the fire is called dying fire over here because the fire lacked firewood. It was about to be extinguished. And the second meaning of the dying fire here means the absence of warmth and love and sharing and caring among the six human beings. Question number 13. Who is the first one in the above extract? And what does held hers back means? Well, the first one in this is the white woman. And held her back means that when she realized that the person sitting opposite to her is a white man, she refused to put her stick of wood in the fire. Next, question number 14. What does for in the third line of the extract mean? What is the third line? For of the faces round the fire. So what does for over here mean? And what is the first person suffering for? So for over here means because. And what is the first, and the, what is the first woman suffering from? The first woman is suffering from racial discrimination. Remember these things. These are important. In, in few of the books, the word uses white man also. But uh, most of the books, it, the word carries is woman. Next, question number 15. Who is the second man? Describe him. Well, the second man is the white man. 
and he likes the people we can also uh, say that he is a priest or a religious man how do we come to know because the second line says that he saw someone not of his church now remember one thing all the people belong to the same religion they are all christians but they a few of them belong to different sects different groups of christianity so the second person we can say he is a priest or a religious person and he only um, like the people who belong to his own church next question what does the second man do and why and what is he suffering from so what did the second man do he refused to share his log of wood to put his log of wood into the fire why because he noticed that one of the persons sitting around him did not belong to his particular church to his particular religious group what is he suffering from he is suffering from religious intolerance he is suffering from religious intolerance next what is birch the word birch is used in this extract he is carrying the line is uh, the fire his stick of birch so birch is a kind of a tree found in usa and he was carrying a log of wood of that particular tree <clears throat> next who is the third man describe him the third man is the poor man so describing describing from the given extract only from the poem he was in tattered clothes and he gave his coat a hitch that proves that he was economically poor next what does gave his coat a hitch mean it means he tried to pull two open edges of his shirt or coat together so that <clears throat> he could cover himself in that extreme cold <coughs> excuse me next question number 20 what does he call the rich man and why what does a poor man call the rich man the poor man calls the rich man as idle rich why because he thinks that rich man is lazy he does not work on his own and he makes other people work and labor next what is a poor man suffering from well the poor man is suffering from the feeling of tightness why because he considered it unjust to give what little he had and to share with others he is suffering from tightness right next question number 22 how do you describe the condition of the rich man and what was he thinking he is the fourth man yes the rich man uh, had amassed his wealth we get the line the rich man just sat back and thought of what wealth he had in store so what was he thinking he was thinking of the wealth he had stored number 1 and number 2 how to keep it safe from others he wanted it to protect it from the poor especially the poor people next question number 3 how did he describe the poor two textual words given in the extract itself he calls the poor man as a lazy shiftless poor next question what is the re, uh, rich man suffering from well the rich man is suffering from greed and stinginess because he is only thinking about his money 
Next, what is the difference in the attitude of the rich and the poor to each other in the poem? Well, the poor man thinks that the rich are lazy and they make easy money. Whereas the rich man thinks that the poor men are lazy and not at all enterprising as they do not like to work hard. Right? Question number 26. What was the expression on the face of the black man and what is he suffering from? He is the fifth person. You can also get the question, who is the fifth person? So the fifth person is the black man. The expression on the face of the black man is of revenge. Why? Because he thinks that the white people have always mistreated the black ones. What is he suffering from? He is suffering from revenge or vice of spite. He says, if the white man did not, white man or woman did not help me, I would also not help them. Next question. What does the stick mean to the black man? And how will he take his revenge? Well, the stick for the black man is an instrument of revenge. And how will he take revenge? He will take revenge by not giving his log of wood to share, to keep the fire burning. Next question. What had the white man done for which the black man wanted to take revenge? What had the white woman done the white man or the white woman then uh, did do so that he wanted to take the revenge um, the answer will be both ways the white woman did not share his log of wood that is one aspect and the second aspect is in general that the white people had mistreated the black people for long and so this time he got an opportunity to take a revenge by not helping the white or by not saving the life of a white person. Next, who is the last man in the group and what is his attitude? Well, the last man in the group can be called a businessman or an industrialist. And why he will be called so? Because the next line says, he did not accept for gain, that he did not do anything till he found some profit in it. And here he failed to see the profit. Uh, here I would like to discuss the next one. What is the meaning of the phrase forlorn group? Now forlorn group here is an oxymoron and oxymoron is a poetic or a literary device when two opposite words are used together forlorn group forlorn means lonely and group means more than one people so many people so here forlorn group are used two opposite words are used together it is a group because there are six people and why is it forlorn because they are not talking to each other they are not dealing with each other question number 31 what would be your response to the sixth man for his views and what is he suffering from? So what would be your response to the sixth man? We think that the sixth man is suffering from lack of charity or generosity. Lack of charity or generosity. Because even he fails to help others. He did not see. Giving only to those who gave was how he played the game. That is the line in the poem. What does he mean? What does it mean? That he only helps those or he only deals with those people from where he could find out some prophet who had given him something. He would also like to give only to that person that was how he played his game that was his habit question number 33 
What is the real reason for the death according to the poet? What does a poet mean by that? So according to the poet, the real reason of the death is the cold within. That is the absence of love, care, compassion, generosity, charity, religious tolerance for each other. Lack of such warm feelings. There was no positive spirit for each other. How might the fate of this group have turned out differently? So it is a general question up to you. How would their fate would have been different? Their fate would have been different if they would have shared their logs of wood with each other. If they had shared with the logs of wood, uh, logs of wood with each other, the fire would have kept burning. And if the fire had been kept burning, they would have spent time in talking to each other, telling stories, singing, dancing, and most important, they would all have been alive. But what happened in the end? Because they refused to put their stick of wood in the fire the fire got extinguished the fire was put out on its own and they all died in extreme cold carrying their own logs of wood in their hands that log of wood was not used positively properly and they all lost their lives so that is the poem the gold within i hope uh, with these uh, questions and answers you got the gist of the poem uh, once again i tell you please try to learn the textual words from the poem if you like the video please do give a thumbs up and do subscribe goodbye